Well, God dang, and welcome to the channel, fams. And sadly, I may not even be able to say that anymore, man. YouTube is trying their best to push people like me that make content like this out. Like, that's just what it is. Sadly, that's what's going on. And I'll update you guys in this whole thing in the future. But right now, let's talk about this video. And that is Little Yachty taking shots at Joe Budden. Now, even though I cover hip hop and the news, I still like to watch the news from different stations and channels out there. Or I like to watch hip hop shows, even though I cover it. Trust me, I'm still a fan of all this. That's why I do it. So it's a show with DJ AK and Joe Budden. So if you guys watch the show, then you know that Joe Budden is not too fond of Little Yachty. I mean, sometimes he gets Little Yachty and Little Uzi Vert mixed up, but I think he has that down pack. But now he flat out hates Little Yachty. The conversation came up about Little Yachty's brand new hip hop cover. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's a controversial cover to some. And to some, I guess it isn't, right? The cover shows up front a girl with skin disorder, then a guy that's albino, also shows a girl that is obese. Then the cover shows two dudes kissing each other in the back, okay? Being gay has never been acceptable in hip hop. It's that macho sport. And some people like to blame hip hop and say, well, only in hip hop you can't be gay and this and that and all this stuff. But to be honest, I mean, is being gay acceptable in country music? Of course, like there's some genres where there's going to be some guy that's openly gay and people will support him. But in most genres of music is really not acceptable. I don't know. Hip hop is that macho manly sport and music. Now, Joe Budden says when you're not hip hop and you're trying to troll, you get things like this. Now, he feels that little Yachty, of course, is trying to troll, trying to get attention for his album. That's why you see the mixture of people on the album that you may deem as weird. Now, little Yachty wasn't having it. He went to Twitter and he tweeted out my mood linked to a song that little B made about Joe Budden. Trying to diss me when you got a fucking full bed. Sit down, old man. Your back about to blow out. My Definitely go check out that song. Link in the description. So this is the way I feel, man. I don't care if a rapper has a million guys kissing on his cover. But if that's what you're going to do, just be about it. Don't do it for attention. Because when you start doing it for attention, it comes off to me as... You're exploiting everyone that is on that cover. You guys probably don't remember this, or maybe some of you do, but back in the day, Nas had this album, and I believe it's called now Untitled. But before it was called Untitled, he was shopping around the idea on ESPN. He was shopping it around on Fox News and CNN that his album was going to be called The N-Word, but with ER. You get what I'm saying here? Now, I would say the word, but I'm not going to say the word because YouTube is cracking down on a lot of that stuff, and ugh, it's just annoying. And a lot of people felt that he was doing this for attention. Now, this did get him a lot of attention. He was going to all different red carpets. He was seen everywhere talking about the album. And it seems like, okay, well, you're going to name your album that, or you're going to have your cover as a guy with slave lashings on his back just to get attention? You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Does the cover bother you guys? And explain if it does. I'm out.